Hey what's up you guys, this is SGB618 here, and yeah, <laughs> this is the PS5 Spider-Man 2 Edition, just casually unboxing it today, uh, came in the mail, it feels so weird that it's right in front of me because I've been waiting for this for about a month, basically a day after the pre-orders came up, um, I pretty much copped mine because I already knew how tragic the original PS5 batch was in terms of getting it. So when it comes to a special edition like this, I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm waiting for it. This was the edition that I was waiting for. As long as it's black and red, I've already got my eye on it. And I'm so glad that I managed to get my hands on it as it is limited. This box is a lot smaller than I expected. I know it comes up pretty big on camera, but it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was, which is pretty funny because the PS5 is notorious for being massive. So obviously right here, got that nice box. That Spider-Man design is so cool. And obviously the console design itself. Lots of people don't like it. I understand why people want something a lot more like this on the side, um, which I can fully understand. However, I love the minimalistic limited editions. I think it looks really cool. And they've done the same thing with the controller as well. Um, flip that over. On the side, you've got that nice, simple Spider-Man logo. Very nice. I'm glad that they went with the Tobey Maguire logo. Still the best logo, in my opinion. <laughs> um, now the back now. You see the back, yeah? <laughs> This is so cool. Yeah, so at the back you obviously have uh, Peter, Miles, and Venom, that brand new Venom design, which looks super, super cool, as you can see there. Um, I wasn't expecting them to do something similar with the regular edition, where it would just be the PS5 model sitting in the back. But no, they just went full on Spider-Man with it, and I absolutely love it. This is such a great picture as well. Remember when they first revealed this? Then on this side, on this side, just a picture of the console on its side. Surprisingly enough, it comes with a voucher for the game, which I was not expecting. I think that's very, very cool. Snuck that in there. Obviously, you can't play it until the game comes out, but it's a digital version. Um, obviously, I wish it was physical, but companies ain't doing that now. Let's be real. And then, and then at the bottom, nothing special. <laughs> right. So I guess all we have left to do is actually unbox this thing, so let's do it. Oh man, I can't believe we're actually unboxing this. Oh yeah, come on now. <laughs> and then, get the other one. Sweet. Managed to get this thing on launch day, which is really cool. Literally getting it at the same time as everyone else. Oh snap. Oh snap, okay. Okay, so now that I'm standing it up, um, I've had to change the camera angle a little bit. Um, I went to go and obviously make the tripod a little bit taller so you guys can see more of it in the frame uh, because obviously it's a very tall console. Um, now we're just going to slide it out. Obviously you don't want to damage that nice, nice box. Look at this. Okay, now I'm starting to feel the... Um, <laughs> like... Now I'm starting to realise how big this box actually is. Okay, there we go. Make sure that this is nice and safe. Ooh, too good, too good. Okay, so we've got a little instruction here. Step one, step two, step three. Oh, <laughs> spoilers. Okay, and there's the console itself. We will get to that. Let's, um, I think the safest way to do this will probably be sliding it out. Okay, we will get to that. We will get to that. <laughs> we will get to that. Okay, so first things first. We have the controller and probably the accessories as well. Not that there are that many, it's probably cables and stuff. Ooh. Okay, let's dissect this. 
So over here we have the full game download which thankfully is covered up so that's going to be for myself. Love that. Obviously you got cable stuff like that. Keep this. I'm going to keep this very brief. It's, it's my wow it's a cable in there obviously. You've got your PS5 Bible right here just in case something goes wrong. More paperwork. You guys don't care about that. What's in here? Ooh, okay. So this we will show off with the console. HDMI cable, very handy. Oh wait, is there something in here? Ah, oh, another cable. Another cable. Right, now, the DualSense controller. Okay, so, just gonna, oh. I can see it already. I can see, you guys can see it in there. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, I see you. That looks a bit nice, you know. I like it a lot. That's really clean. Very quiet controller, which is pretty cool. Yeah, there's the design right there. Looking very, very sleek. And I absolutely love what they did here. And also with the buttons as well, like on that side it's all black and then on this side it's that Spider-Man PS4 white. Now it's PS5 obviously, but <laughs> that's really cool. I love what they did with this controller. It's so minimal and it works. I'm very happy with this. It is time for the PS5 itself. I can see the design already. Ooh. And this, ladies and gents, is the PS5 Spider-Man edition. Oh wow. Look at that. That's so cool. Why does this seem so much smaller than I expected? Let me get this plastic out of the way. You guys see that? Very, very classy indeed. You see that? Oh, that side right there. It's looking so good. Again, I love the design choice with this. It's like it, it fades to, to red, but the majority of it's black which is really good. I didn't even notice that little spider on the on the bottom there until I saw like another picture of it. Yeah, this is a big system. <laughs> that looks so nice, man. I'm so I don't want to touch the middle part at all. So, oh, yeah, you can see the camera in there. <laughs> so, obviously you've got the power button right there. Very hard to see cuz it's all black. Um and you've got your eject button right there. USB-C. USB A. Then you obviously got more on the back, which I will show you. Obviously, the back's not super exciting, but obviously, there's more ports and things like that. Gets the job done and it's nice and minimal. This is obviously the stand that it comes with. Um, it's extremely recommended for you to use this. I'm not saying that this is exciting or anything, but just in case some of you guys care about what this looks like. Yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like on its side. Very, very cool. So you just have it. Face down like that. I like it. I like it a lot. And they, oh, that is such a good side to have it on. That's pretty much it, guys. I don't want to take up too much of your time. That was pretty much the unboxing of the Spider Man 2 PS5 that came out today. Um, this is probably my first time getting a console edition on launch day, which is super, super cool. Please comment down below your thoughts on this system right here. Do you like the design? Do you not? And let me know, what is your favourite PS5 game so far, if you have one? Or, if you don't have a PS5, what games would you like to try on it? Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.